Welcome back to today's post-apocalyptic world, season three. And today we're going to tackle a problem that's pretty common when the weather gets freezing like this. So it's below zero outside. And let's say you have a refrigerator in the garage, or in this case, in this abandoned building where the temperature indoors can actually be lower than outside. And in this case, as we're gonna see here, we're actually literally just below zero where it's actually better to leave like frozen vegetables and frozen chicken outside the freezer because we're actually not freezing water in here. So the water is freezing over here and over here, this is the cat's water source. We've got ice cubes and yet inside the freezer, no freezing. So why is that a problem? Well, first of all, it's inconvenient that we can't keep our frozenables inside the freezer. And if we step back here, we have this thing called a kilowatt. And what this does is monitor the flow of electricity and lets you know if you're actually paying for electrical current that's not doing anything. So in this case, it could actually read 500 watts, which could add up to 20 to $30 a month and not doing its job. So that's one problem. And the way we're gonna solve this today is we've got another older type of refrigerator out in another room that we're gonna try to install with some electrical work. So let's get to work. Okay, so here we are at the top of the staircase and this is the refrigerator we're going to attempt to power on. This is an older model, but it's never failed as far as working at all temperatures, but it wasn't as nice as the other one. So it's sitting out here because at one point I had lifted it using this chain method. And it's kind of too hard to go back down. But in this case, since the other fridge isn't working, this will be a good opportunity for a video on showing how to wire up something when there's no plug in the area. So what are we gonna do? What we do have is this here set of wires from before, and I'm not sure if they work. Yeah. But we're gonna use our tools to see what we can do with that. So we'll set that over here and get to work. So what do we have to work with? Do we like this light on? On, off, on, off, on. So looking at the tools we're going to use, first we want to see if there's power coming down of it. And for this we're going to use our trusted voltmeter. This is one of those you can either get for free at Harbor Freight just for showing up sometimes if they have a coupon special or they're like five or six bucks. And with this, we're going to be able to see if there's any current coming through and also what the voltage is to see if it's good for our refrigerator. So we've got the light on. Okay. And I'll talk as we work, see what we have. And we are working live here, so this is definitely not recommended, but it is the post-apocalypse. And so we do what we can. So with this, I've got two clips. One here. I don't think it matters if we use red or black at this point, but looking at our meter, Okay, so it's showing at 120 is the voltage, telling us that it's good to go. Now, if we're gonna plug something in, the next thing we need to know is which side is hot and which one, which side is neutral. And for this, we're going to take out our little light pen. 
what this does, it, it'll tell us or, or confirm if this was wired correctly the first time, if the white should be neutral and the black should be hot. And by putting this up to it, so here we're putting up to the white and nothing, and we're putting it up to the black and it's hot. So this confirms that it's wired correctly. The next thing we're going to do is we, we took apart an old extension cord and just kind of snipped the end so that's a short deal. And we're going to try to wire that up with these Wago connectors. So these are awesome because they allow you to make strong connections that are that you can also undo without any soldering or any um, invasive type of electrical work. So we're gonna hook this up to these two wires. Now the rule for these is that since these are both white, if you look at the plug, one side is smaller than the other and the smaller end should be the hot or black and the wider end should be neutral or white. Also, a rule of thumb is that you'll notice that one of the two wires is smooth and the other wire is ribbed and ribbed means that it is neutral and smooth means that it is hot. And this is something you can always Google double check before you work. Remember, we are working live here, so we wouldn't want to make any connections that are somehow crossing wires because we could get electrocuted. So, let's see if this works here. We're gonna put this one up to the hot, like so. We're gonna take our smooth. Confirming red and white. And we go like this. And so this should be a nice and secure wiring. Okay, so from this point we are going to, we're going to need a, another extension cord. And there is our original kilowatt. And this is two, to three, so we're going to use one of these adapters. So what this is telling us now is that we do have 120 volts. Mm, there's no current going through currently. And we can just take our plug from the refrigerator. And we can hear it kick on. The light is on. So we are hearing the refrigerator. Well, that seems to have worked. So thanks for joining me on Day's Post-Apocalyptic World, the Frozen series. What that means is that currently we're snowed in, it's freezing outside, it's freezing inside, and we're gonna show you some life hacks if you're ever stuck in an abandoned building and there's a bunch of zombies out and you're surviving and it's awesome. See you next time on Day's Post-Apocalyptic World.